Good morning students now let's start with subject SST chapter 13 part 3 Now our topic is vegetation Students we have seen many types of plants and grass in our surroundings right Now some vegetations are thorny thorny means kaate wale and some have a beautiful flowers As we have already studied that there are various types of vegetations like some trees are very dense some are with where spare leaves spare means thode kam different types of vegetations are found in different regions according to their suitable climates now first one is tropical rain forest these types of forest are found where the rain is more and the forest is so dense and the sun rays cannot reach the surface in these types of forest as you can see in the picture also the very dense forest is there with the green leaves variety of trees you can find here and autumn season does not affect all the trees at once but affect at different times in a year so trees appear very lush green these types of forests are found in western ghats in the form of strip and in andaman and nicobar island and in some parts of northeast india trees like mahogany rosewood and wicker etc are seen here now let's start with the another topic that is tropical deciduous forest majority of indian land is occupied by the forests trees of these types of forest are less dense they shed their leaves during autumn season as we all know that in autumn season trees shed their leaves so many times it is called an autumn forest also now trees like sal bamboo neem etc are seen in this types of forest next one is dry and shrub forest shrub means a small or we can say medium sized plants this type of forest are seen in the region where the rainfall is less and the most of the trees are thorny found there thorny means kaate wale trees like cactus plum jujube acacia are the main trees found there and these types of forest are mostly found in rajasthan haryana and on the slopes of western ghats and gujarat etc now map is given to us india natural vegetation students look into the above picture into the map that different colors are there in the map right they indicate different types of forests and students which color indicates which type of forest is given to us near the map into the small square bracket that is given please look, uh, look into that which is indicated with the red arrow now next one is mountain forest this type of forest is mostly seen in the mountain region in variety of different plants grow at various or different height vegetation grow at height of 1500 meter to 2500 meter from sea level and mostly it is in conical shape conical means a cone like shape or needle shaped and this type of vegetation is known as coniferous vegetation trees like chid deodar pine etc are seen in this type of vegetation now next one is mangrove forest this type of forest mostly grow in brackish water brackish means salty water this type of forest is mostly seen in west bengal gujarat and on the shore of andaman and nicobar island Sundarvan in delta region of Ganga has this type of forest 
and this name sundar one is taken from the tree named sundari char tree are seen in forest along the coastal region of gujarat which is used as fuel by the local people now let's study the importance of forest now students forests are important for us or not yes it is important for us because our various needs our various wants are fulfilled with the help of forests only let's study advantages of forest now first one is environmental advantages and another one is economical advantages it keeps our environment clean means we get fresh oxygen then it brings rain prevent soil erosion it stops soil erosion as we already know this then wild animal gets their habitat and underground water is conserved because of the forest now economical advantages we use forest material especially wood for fuel then we get medicines raw material fodder fodder means food for wild animals and other forest products like lac resin and glue and also variety of wild life resides in the forest like wild animals mammals birds small creatures aquatic animals amphibians insects reptiles bugs etc and tigers are seen in the various parts of our country wild goat in himalayas and nilgiri mountains and animals like elephants and one horned indian rhinoceros in the forest of assam are seen moving freely as you can see in the picture also and the forest of kerala and karnataka are very well known for the elephants also and the gudkar that is wild as is found in the dry region of kutch and surendranagar and patan now ascetic lions are only seen in gir forest of gujarat in the world now students lions are seen in the gir forest as we have studied earlier also and number of lions increased due to efforts of conservation of forest department and variety of birds like duck crane cuckoo parrot vulture etc are seen in india and as we all know that the peacock is our national bird and apart from this the turtles come to the sea to lay their eggs in state like gujarat and odisha in india and also different types of snakes are seen in our country and maximum of them are non venomous means not producing poison now wildlife of india in winter season many birds come to our country to breed breed means to give birth to their young ones thousands of birds come to nal sarovar and khijadia thor chari dand in kutch of gujarat during winter season and they again return to their native places when the winter gets over these types of birds are called tourist or we can say migratory birds now flamingo flamingo is seen in nal sarovar run of kutch because of wet areas it has long legs and white pink shaded body as you can see in the picture and it makes their nest in the kutch only in whole india and to lay eggs they make a heap of muddy soil into the ground and they lay their eggs on top of that and after that they soak their egg in it as it is given in the picture with the red indication now students 
many centuries national parks and bio reserve zones are there for the birds and animals to protect wild life and some special legal provisions are also there and students you will get information of these types of special provisions from this table right and students it is our moral duty to protect wild life and vegetation also and students we have to follow the rules and regulation laws of the government and we have to implement it also and prohibition also which have been put by government so students here our chapter gets complete i hope everything is clear to you now we will meet in next video with next chapter till that stay home stay safe thank you